Okay, so today I'm going to start doing some more sanding. We're going to finish up my edge here. i got to do some sanding a little bit right here to get it kind of flat, especially right here. Get that flat, and then I'm going to come over with some uh, body filler. Fill in these little areas, make it look really nice, nice and flat. Get, you know, these little areas right here that I didn't see from the other side. So I'll fix that up, do light sanding all the way around there. Got to take these off and uh, get these off where I can repaint it because it's going to be a slight different color. So I'm going to have to repaint everything. All right, so that's what we're going to do today. And hopefully I'll be able to get it in the black primer done today because this is pretty smooth already. You know, I just need to clean it up and do a, do a light sand. And I might just fill in these little fiberglass. You can see these little fiberglass areas. Um, I might fill that in and make it just look a little bit smoother. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do. So first thing, I'm going to take these off and then start sanding all right so we got it all down to 220 uh except for in these little areas i have to get those by hand the rest is just da real quick because it's already pretty much smooth so i just need to work on these corners and then we'll be done sanding there and then we'll be able to get it to uh, filler primer on there and uh, I got a little hump right, oh, right here. Not a hump, but a dip. So I have to fill that in and right there, a little bit right there. But other than that, the rest feels really good, except for just a little bit of sanding. So, yeah, so I'm, I decided I'm gonna try and make this smooth as possible, a little bit more smoother, since I got the DA. And uh, see how well that turns out now probably turn out better uh and i gotta go get down in here a little bit more this is because when that fire happened it kind of you know messed with the fiberglass oh sorry lost you pushed the button but i need to fill in a little bit right there that's from that fiberglass filling up the paint a little bit there so i gotta fill in just a few more tiny little areas and then sand the rest down well, okay so initial sanding down I just got to, I, I, I put the Bondo down, or not the Bondo, this, uh, this glaze, I put the glaze right here and then up front, and then I'll finish sanding it down, get it nice and smooth all the way around, wet sand it one more time, then after that I'll put on the, uh, uh, the, the primer filler. So we're almost done with the back side of the hood. reason I'm wet sanding, like I said before, I can feel the grooves better if anything I missed. I know where I can still work on that area. So, I mean, I'm, I'm not going for perfection here anyway, but if there's something that's like just way out of whack, then I can work on it. So, that's the main reason. Because uh, sometimes dry sanding, just, I don't know, like when you get away, you can kind of see the bumps a little bit better and everything, but it's dry sanded and that dust is up in there, you can't see it sometimes, so. Feeling really good to begin with, but like I said, I just wanted to wet sand it just to make sure we're getting anything. Overall, it's feeling pretty good. I'm gonna wipe it down. I think I got all these areas done really close.
got it. Put it right there. I'm sure once I put that filler primer down, I'll see something. Always do. But like I said, the back of this hood is not gonna matter as much because this is something you're not gonna see very often, so. Okay, wash this up, wipe it down, and then we'll go over it with a fresh rag, towel, microfiber, towel, mineral spritz, there's a wax and, what is it, a wax and tar remover. This is get up all, get up all the big stuff. Yucky, big stuff. Come back over it with the tar. Right, you can kind of see the mess we made. It's nice and smooth though. Smoother anyway. There's down in here. There's just some places I'm, I'm not going to really care about. Uh, but yeah, that's one step closer. Uh, I'm going to wipe it down with the wax and tar remover. And we'll let it dry and come back and we'll uh, uh, primer it up. Put two foam blocks underneath to kind of raise it up from the plastic. That way it won't stick to anything. That way, you know, the plastic's underneath it. So, raise it up just a little bit of an inch or so. Actually, I want to. can is already two-thirds empty so it's gonna it's gonna go by quick okay so that took about a can's worth um, like I said you can still see some of the imperfections this is why I do the the filler primer for I can always see what I missed I need to fill in a little bit right there and you know this this area right here that I just can't see a few scratches but overall I mean this is the underside I mean I'm not gonna spend forever on this because it's just it's wavy fiberglass so it's gonna be what it is it is what it is but I will fill in these little areas make it look nice but the rest I mean unless I want to block for Hours and hours and hours, you know, it's not worth it. It'd be worth buying another hood <laughs> and doing it correctly, you know, doing it that way. But, yeah. So, uh, we'll let that sit, do its thing. Uh, it'll take about a day before you can start sanding or doing anything to it. 
So we're done for the day with this hood. And uh, we'll get all the little areas done that I missed. And then we'll put on the Siller primer, the black primer. So, yeah. And uh, before I go too far, I need to drill out these holes for my hood scoop a little bit bigger because I'm using those different uh, bolts. So I just need to go in and just zip them out real quick. All right. It's going to look really good. Most of it, like I said, most of it is done. I'll show you a picture of what I, what the hood looked like when I first got it. Oh, man, it was horrible looking. Um, you know? So, it's come a long ways. Like I said, older, definitely an older fiberglass hood. Whoever, whoever made it, so. But yeah. We'll get her done.